clean. Doesn't have to be a hundred percent clean, but you know, eighty somewhere. See, look how much better already. Somewhere around there is sufficient, but you know, you should have them clean, and you'll get you know the best ride again out of the gang car. And you know, while you've got it all tore apart here. Like I said, try to be careful that you don't break these solder leads. They're on there pretty good from the factory. And you, you can mess with it a little bit. Spray that, spray that thing down there. Where they were hooked to with the CRC. Clean up around the frame as best as you can. And now we're back to uh, <coughs> our brushes that we pulled out of these two slots. And they, they ride in here on top of the armature. Okay, we're going to set our brushes aside for one moment. You want to keep everything organized as you go along, of course, which is notoriously hard to do. <laughs> for some reason and uh, this is a real good time too to take your uh, body and take it to a sink and scrub it with a toothbrush okay we're not going to do that right now at this moment uh, we're going to get the armature back and we're going to clean that you'll take a toothpick and you will spray the top of the armature. Now notice there are three segments there. What by segments I mean these slots. Take the toothpick and go between the slots and clean the slots. Don't go and don't break where it meets. But you see you will get some junk out of there. This is basic on every train. You will do this and get that stuff out of there. Okay. And then, you know, normally you would spray it again. And you repeat the process on and on. Take that swab. Clean off the top of it as good as you can. And if you want to be real cool, you can get a... Uh, of like 2500 wet sanding paper and really shine this is, this one's okay as it is okay make sure this washer goes back on there are two of two of them there you as believe me you need every part on these trains if they could left one out they would have you set your armature back in there And that, that part of it's done. Now, you'll notice as you go along, your hands will be getting greasy. Once again, keep a handy stack of paper towels, your 91% alcohol. Keep wiping your hands. Get that grease and that junk off of you as you go. Okay, next, we're going to clean the brushes. We're going to reuse these brushes. We have a piece. No, just a uh, paper towel, and we're going to put a little electric cleaner on it, and we'll take our brushes and roll them around on the paper towel. They will become clean. It's probably hard to see, but they will get clean. Okay, you're going to take the spring. Roll that around in that stuff. Make sure it's clean and got the gunk off. 
Okay, and you'll see there's a little end on one of the brushes, on the end of one of the brushes. You put the spring back on there, and you, well, we're not going to do that yet. I will clean the other brush and then show you how to put it back in. Okay, take your CRC, spray it on a paper towel, and you can also, if you'd like, <coughs> Take your 2500 sandpaper and run the brushes across it once the end of the brush, which will, you know, kind of resurface the brush. But you want to be sure to keep even strokes going on that so you don't make one side of the brush different than the other. And there's the spring. Same deal, it's got one end where you can see where it goes on. You put these back into the hole. Now here is where it, it, the only little trick is. You have to pick the game car up, flip it over, and put the brushes back on that way. Because it's almost impossible to do any other way. I got that tip from a, a tip book, and it works real well on uh, Santa Fe F3 motors. It's really the best way and the only way to put the brush back in. Okay. So then we are going to get our two screws. that hold the brushes, or I should say the brush plates on this one, is what it really is, and fasten them back down. If you've kept them in your holder, you won't have lost them and everything will be kosher. Okay, because a lot of these screws are not things you can pick up at the hardware store anymore. Which, you know, when you walk, what is a hardware store? You know, a thing of the past. Okay. So then we will take our pivot, I call it, set it back in its hole that the man goes on. And you will see there's two little notch is there where the gate goes back on the back gate it just kind of sits this one's a little bent we should bend it back to its original position and then we will blah 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 line this up with that And, you know, this is kind of hard doing it for the camera, but I'll get this stuff down as we go. And blah, blah, blah. There you have your thing back in place for the man to sit his butt on. And you take your long Phillips screw and reinstall it. Like I said, we should take a little more time on this, but I'm already up to 18 minutes, and I don't want to bore you guys to death. Uh, you take your guy, your game card guy, you'll notice he's got a hole in his tank there, like most of us do after a while. He works hard. He works his bottom off. And he will turn around when the car turns back around now. We'll get our other two gang car guys, <coughs> which go on these two bumps, and we will glue them back on with uh, super glue. We're not going to do that right now because it takes more time, and we have to wait for it to set up, and you put it back on the track, and she should run like a banshee. 
I thank you for uh, watching this first instructional video. I wish when I started that somebody would have did this kind of stuff step by step for me. Uh, that's the reason I'm doing it. Is to try, you know, just like to show you how to put those brushes back on. If you don't know, you will sit there and struggle and struggle. But keep that tip in mind where you put them back in, flip the car upside down, and make the brushes meet the commutator. And then screw everything back together, and your Section 50 Dan car should run like new. I'm Kenny Ballman, here from Lionel for Less. And I thank you so much for watching and bearing with me during these first instructional video. I've never done anything like this before. And like I said, I just, I wish when I started uh, 12 years ago that somebody would have showed me something and made my life easier. Uh, spent countless hours trying to figure stuff out and uh, it was so simple and somebody showed me the trick or I read it in a book. And uh, I do offer repairs here. If you don't want to do your own repair work, uh, I do have the cheapest rates in town. I would have probably charged you $20 to do what I just did, and I would have did a much more thorough job for you. As you can see, I am insane. I am in the middle of setting up a layout in my room here. I've painted the walls the same color as a lionel box. And uh, well, it's going to be cool when it's all done. Once again, from Lionel for Less, call us at 216-296-1520 if you need a repair, a tune-up, or a restoration. I do some great restoration work as I do have a lot of experience in auto bodies, and I apply that to the train. Thank you, and happy railroading.